We've always raised turkeys. We started with Thanksgiving turkeys in the very beginning because that's a high demand thing. People are always looking for a local turkey. They worked out really well for us to just do a small batch because it's a in and out thing. You you order one batch, you raise them up for their you know twenty four weeks or whatever, and they're out. So it was a really good uh, cash flow situation for us, and they're easy to raise and move around. And then we've also with them gradually switched to a pure breed that we can breed ourselves. We have always raised a few ducks for eggs and meat, and then uh, over the last few years, the duck meat became really, really popular. Um, once people got the word out that there was going to be local duck available, uh, we decided to raise a little bit more, and um, now we're also breeding them because um, that's a purebred and easy to, to breed ourselves. And we don't do a lot of those. I think it's a real limited market for duck meat, but... Um, can move about 150 in a season and that works well for us. They're a good grazing animal, they're easy to move. I would like to do more duck personally and, and more goose because they're grazing animals much more so than chickens. And um, so as far as the uh, grain input onto the farm, way less goes into a duck or a goose or a turkey, which all graze more than into the colored broiler. Chickens definitely eat more feed per pound. But the sticking point on ducks and geese is that they're really difficult to process. So we're sort of processing limited on them. Yeah. Ducks require waxing. Ducks, by their very nature, are waterproof and thickly, thickly feathered with down. And so when you scald them, the water doesn't penetrate to the skin very well. Even though we, we add soap and uh, we increase the scald temperature a little bit, it's very difficult to penetrate the feathers and loosen them with the scalding water. Um, and so we can scald and pluck like a normal, like a chicken, but when you're done, you still have a great deal of down still left on, on the, especially on the breast. And so the, the, the waxing process helps pull all that off. Um, so after the, the scalding and plucking, we dip them in hot wax and then into ice water to chill that wax down and it suctions on to the feather follicles and then I peel it off. And that really helps get some of that downy stuff off and pin feathers. It's also important with ducks that they be processed exactly at the right time so they're not in pin because then it's a real nightmare. And then they require a little more piecework too, picking off all those little downy feathers. So they're, they're just double the time for each bird.